Your head coach of the Winnipeg Rifles, Jordy Wilson, joins us here on RiflesFootball.com. Coach, uh, well, first things first, do I have any uh, mustard in my mustache? We just had a great <laughs> barbecue here uh, at the football park. but uh, no, I, there's some pickle juice on your chest. Well, might, no. <laughs> there might be. Well, I was barbecuing. My eyes might be bloodshot. I got a lot of smoke in there. But uh, everybody ate well and uh, had a good time. A nice way to uh, kind of wrap up the year prior to this playoff game. Absolutely. No, it was fun. It's good. It's always good to get together and break some bread and have some fun. It was all good, yeah. For sure. Okay, so let's talk about uh, what it's all about, and that's getting to business uh, on Sunday afternoon. It's going to be a 3 o'clock kickoff instead of the normal 1 o'clock mm-hmm. here, but a playoff home game. I'm sure you're happy about that, and uh, how's yeah. the team looking uh, going into this one? I know we had a really good week of practice. Actually, it's probably been our best week of practice all year, so it's been uh, pretty solid. The kids are pretty focused. You know, there wasn't, uh, even from my own perspective, I don't think I even raised my voice at practice last night, so it was good. So they, they seem focused. And uh, we're ready to go and excited for the opportunity. You definitely don't sound as raspy as you sometimes do when uh, you join <laughs> me for these chats. Uh, yeah. But uh, the focus uh, being your opponent in, in the Edmonton Wildcats, a team you have beat this season, yeah. does that help, um, you know, the just the, you know, we can accomplish what we need to mentality for your team, knowing that you've done it before? Oh, no, for sure. I don't think it, it hurts that at all. And I, But the big thing is I think as we've gone through this, Everyone knows that we can beat any team in this league. We just got to go. And, I mean, the crazy part, this is a crazy stat, is that we lead the nation in takeaways. We also lead the nation in turnovers, Mm -hmm. okay, which is ridiculous. So if you think about the volume of turnovers we had, the fact that we've had opportunities to win games with the volume of turnovers we had is insane. So, again, it's just, you know, coaches talk about this all the time, but in our case it's truly, it's true. If we can eliminate turning the ball over, we got a better and average chance to beat any team in this league. So, I mean, that's, you know, we've been real focused, trying to really work with our quarterbacks this week, on making proper decisions and having clocks going off in your head. If it, you know, it's one, two, three, if it's not there, put it down and go. Like, get what you can get, and let's move on to the next down. So, I think we'll be ready to go tomorrow. Do you have your pregame speech prepared? Do you think the guys need that, uh, you know, uh, Vince Lombardi motivational speech in the locker room before the game, or are they set? You know, it's funny when you talk about that. I guess... You know, I talked about them last night to the kids about this, is that an individual can make a difference. A team can make a miracle. And that's the thing is that if you work together, and our guys, they, they genuinely do care for each other. And I think you've obviously been doing our games. When you talk about none of our kids ever quit. Like, as, as crazy, I mean, some of the stuff that's happened this year, like even last week, like when Bryson just drops the ball in the own three. Like, I mean, that stuff doesn't happen normally. But our guys never seem to, they don't have any doubt that they can't still win. So they keep fighting. So, uh, I mean, obviously, we'll, you know, try to razz them up a bit here and there. But for the most part, you know what, they're pretty focused. As I said to them before, I can get you guys fired up. It's going to last probably about five minutes when you go out the door. Right. The the sustainability of this is all internal. You guys have to want this yourselves. And and our guys, they want it. So I think we'll be in good shape. I think I agree with that takeaway from my position in the broadcast booth for these games. I've never seen your team turn on themselves and I've seen that happen before uh, with with football clubs so that's been very impressive to me that they really are playing for one another tell me about the Edmonton Wildcats what they do well and and where you want to attack them yeah their quarterback he's uh he's a scrambler right I mean they really rely on him they'll learn a lot of read option stuff he loves to pull the ball and but even when you get you know a straight drop back situation he if he sees a port that he can get out he's going to go so we've really tried we actually used uh this week, Brady Meeks to kind of simulate him. Because Meeks, he's a pretty, he's a quick, elusive guy. He's probably quicker than that quarterback. But I think if we can control Meeks, which we did a fairly good job in practice, but again, it's, it's a practice, it's not a game, then we're trying to prepare our guys. So I think if we can control their quarterback from running wild, we could be in a pretty good spot. It's all about the playoffs and the Winnipeg Rifles host the Edmonton Wildcats in the Prairie Football Conference quarterfinal right here on the field behind us at uh, Mustangs Field at St. Saint, uh, Patel Saint Mustangs Field at Maple Grove Rugby Park. Kickoff is Halloween Sunday, 3 p.m. If you're not able to come down here, you really want to get down here. It's Look at this weather. It's unbelievable for the, for this October, time of year. It's all good. It is. And uh, But if you're not able to, cjfltv.com. I'll have the play-by-play call. We've got a Hall of Famer. 
mm-hmm. in the Blue Bombers organization. Yeah, Rod Hill is going to call the oh, game with me. Oh, rock and roll Rod Hill. Nice. Yeah, so nice. we're going to have a lot of fun. So be sure to, to join us uh, for that. For head coach Jordy Wilson, ahead of the playoffs here in the 2021 season, my name is Darren Bombing. Thanks for joining us on RiflesFootball.com.